I listened to The Voice uh, one day, uh, a uh, famous radio station in Sweden, and they said, uh, this is Milan Styles with Miss Fatty Fatty, one of Sweden's most famous rappers. What do you say about that? Well, I wouldn't consider myself as a rapper, you know, but I used to rap, you know, uh, that's how I started out, you know, doing hip hop music. But I would consider myself as a musician, as a singer, you know, I do reggae music and dancehall music. I also do rap, you know what I mean? Mm. But my main thing is dancehall and reggae music and I do sing and I DJ, as we call it, and sing J, you know. So, well, some of them, they, I mean, the staff over there, they, they're probably not into it. Like maybe you and me or him, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, well, some people in the business just got it twisted, you know, because they don't even do the research. They don't do their homework, you know, about yeah. cer certain art artists, you know. So maybe reggae music is not so interesting for them. All right. So, yeah, that's what it's all about. Man. But do you think that the media kind of denying that it's a, a genre with uh, dance or music in general? Well, the thing is, I know that they bad mind, you know, uh, reggae and dance or music. I mean... Uh, what I mean by that, saying that, it's like they they don't want to promote it, you know. They try to hold it back more than promote it, you know, because they always link dance and reggae music, yeah, to drugs, yeah. you know what I mean, and violence and guns and, and, and stuff like that and war, you know. Mm -hmm. while, while it is all about positive, vi positive vibes, you know what I mean, and, and, and just good vibes and love, you know. And it's ja music, you know, it's God's music, you know what I mean? Because there's no other music where we sing about God, you know what I mean? More than in reggae music. Too much in this world is so sick and mean. Where will you come now, Father? Got them kill up with sun and with data. Them pollute the air and the water. So I didn't want to let them off in this life. Give me the strength to if you listen to hip hop, you talk about more devilish things yeah. than, than godly things, you understand? If you listen to R&B, R&B is pop nowadays. And what yeah. do you talk about? Talk about, you know, a man fall in love with a next girl and a girl fall in love with a man. And beer, you know, and in yeah. the club and dancing and drinking and, you know, spending money and riding around with a nice car and stuff like that. So I would say it's, it, it's on the contrary, you know what I mean? It's yeah. the opposite. So the thing is, they just try to hold it back because I think that what I believe is that reggae music is the truth, you know, mm. and to try to hold back the truth, you know, because they love lies and they, they love like just foolishness, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you take a look at our world today, it's a foolish world we live in, you know what I mean? And um, there's a lot of fools running the business, you know, the radio stations and the TV stations, you know, that's why I li love doing things like this. Yeah. Because this is underground and reach out to the whole world like this. Boom. Mm. So real people can recognize real and Talk, we can talk about real things, you know, yeah. more than they do on the on these interviews and on these foolish radio stations and foolish, you understand, fuckery TV stations and programs, you know. That's why more time I don't like to do interviews like that. So, yeah, it's got to be pushed out to the to the world, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Because still, the government are fighting the reggae festival in Sweden called the Uppsala Reggae Festival, yeah. and Albrosi wrote a tune about it. And what's your, from from your perspective, what do you say about how them fight the the music? Well, that that's the whole thing, you know, because. I mean, most reggae artists, you know, especially, I mean, it doesn't matter, I mean, I mean a, lot of a lot of reggae artists, you know, they smoke weed, you know, yeah. and some of them, they don't, you know, they never even tried it once, but it doesn't matter, we, you know, it's all in, the, we, we're all the same, we're all one, you understand, and the thing is, they just, just try to hold it back because I really don't know, you know, because they like to fight, you know, they mm. want to pick a fight, you know, and they can even catch you on the street, you, you ain't doing anything, you're just being... You understand? Yeah. You're just being by yourself and you're walking down the street with a smile, yeah, you man. know? <coughs> and and got 
Pure love in your heart, you know. Pure love in your heart, you know. Yeah, man. But it doesn't matter. They, they, I mean, that's the ones they want to catch and and yeah. harass, you know. Yeah. So well, it's wrong, you know. And 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 I feel sorry for Sean Paul and and Alba Rose, you know, you know that came from a sweet island like that, you know, Jamaica, yeah. where it's kind of, you know, what I mean, more yeah, free man. like that. And they come to Sweden and they want to, you know, what I mean, perform for the people and spread some joy and sp- spread some love and some positive vibes. And they get har- harassed by the cops like that without yeah. doing anything. They just went there. They did the job. Yeah. They got the visa, everything, if they need a visa. And they did their job, but still get harassed, you know? Yeah. And go to, down to the sta- station, get strip searched. Mm. You know what I mean? It, it's wrong, you know? Mm. Uh, I think Alba Rosie did a track about it, yeah? Yeah, man. Operation Uppsala. See it there? Yeah. So the man get vexed. Yeah, man. Yeah, you man. know? And they don't know, you know, what they're doing, what the police are doing. They're like, because Alba Rosie and Sean Paul and all of them, you know, regardless, they, they got fans here. Then they want to see, they want to go out to the concert and see their artists, artists you know? Their idol, you know? They want they want to see that and they want, you know, some full joy themselves and, and take in the show, you know? And get them vibes, you know? But the police, I mean, some artists, maybe they, they, want, they don't want to come back. No. You know what I mean? So it's kind of messed up yeah you know doing you know they, they shouldn't do that you know they don't even know what they're doing you know, cause, yeah. because i hear that when when, when uh rolling stones come here you know yeah. they don't get checked or something no, like man. that and no, everybody know about rolling stones you know what they're <laughs> yeah, doing <man>. you know <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? and when rolling some big <laughs> stones some big rocks i don't know but you know and that's not part of reggae music you know but still they on their side, you know, they can do whatever they want. and But they try to hold back reggae music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really and yeah. truly, you know? And that's kind of... Because I've been all over the world, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel that, you know what I mean, that the, the system is hold, try to hold back reggae music mm. the most in Sweden. Mm. And this is where I'm born and grew up, you know? Born and raised. And I'm still living here, you know? And, uh, yeah, I don't know, you know? It's, it just, we just, I just want to see a change one day. Yeah. You know, I think reggae music needs to be bigger and bigger. I just want to see more artists, more sound pop up, more producer. And the only way for, for reggae to get bigger in Sweden yeah. is if all of us come together as one, you understand? Mm. As a big force. Yeah, man. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Just as, like, like they do, you know? Yeah, but, man. So that's how you make things happen. You need to organize, yeah, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, so you're the new leader. No, nah, not really. <laughs> nah, the whole are we a leader, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. We're just one, you know, as one big leader. Yeah, man. And a big movement. So reggae music is a movement, so we just yeah, need man. to make that move. No more bad mind, no more hatred. Yeah, man, one one love, yeah. <laughs> But me say put on the gun thing shit Beer bar pipes them full and create People come along to free up and feel great To kill your better man that a something that We not really wait which camps are them fully a bit Them a sleep on top in the camp And you go on good with your career and everything So what else are you rich now? Well, you know, I, I can't complain, you know My, my, my belly is full you know, I got somewhere to stay, you know, I can travel. So I feel good, you know, I can't complain, you know, so, you know what I mean? It's, it's not a thing that an artist sh- should talk about, you know, I don't talk about it in my lyrics, so I wouldn't, nah. I wouldn't talk about it right now, you know? But yeah. I, I feel good though, you know? Yeah. Yeah, me give thanks, you know? It's a yeah. blessing. But still is in the superstar tune, everybody want to catch and film. Yeah, exactly. Most people do, and that's, yeah. that's the world we're living in right now. So that's just facts, you know, and, and that's just reality. That's why it's so big right now, because when people listen to it and those who understand the whole track, the whole idea behind the tune, it's like I wanted to do, you understand, I wanted to spread that message on a rhythm like that because the rhythm is kind of commercial and the whole vibe to it is kind of commercial and popish, but still it got a dance all influence in it and hip hop and everything. So to reach out to more people, you know, so after that, maybe they will start listening to other, some of my other tunes. Some yeah. some of my one job reggae tunes roots tunes you know yeah and after that they would discover a new world you know yeah and start listening to you understand Th- those are I started listening to like, like long before you know like Bob Marley and Alpha Black yeah. so on you wanna be gotta be one two three hey superstar everybody wants to be a superstar you want to move Adonai music 
Um, yeah, I just found it Adonai Music, and the first release was actually Everyday Rhythm, that Captain Red, Captain Red produced, you know? And I got several artists on it, and the thing is, I got 16 tracks, as a matter of fact, and, and all of them are my friends, you understand? Yeah, yeah. From, from, from Holland, and from Switzerland, you know, Kali P and Ziggy, and then we got, you know what I mean? We got, we got uh, Joey Fever, you know, John Knight, you know, different artists on it, you know? So that was the whole thing, I just wanted to produce that one and release it to the world, you know? So I, I just want to show people that we got talent here in Sweden and Europe, you know what I mean? So that was the whole idea, but what, what, what I could have done, I could have went to Jamaica, you know, and do like everybody else and voice yeah. Chuck Cure on it and Jamie Essen and, yeah. you know, you understand, Turbulence and Sizzler. Mm. But I didn't want to do that because, because we got talent here, you know. Yeah. The tune Young Guns we have with uh, Joey Fever, that one a big tune and Rodigan a while ago he played in, um, in Brooklyn saying this is a new anthem. What have you say about that? Well, that's, well, it's a big honor, you know, it's a blessing that such a selector as, as Radigan, you know, he's probably the most world known, you know, no, most known in the world, you know, like selector in the world, you know, especially in Europe, you know, because everybody rates him like that, you know, and uh, well, he's a legend in the game, he's a pioneer, you know. <laughs> We have five quick quick questions for ask you and you have your answers fast. Yeah man, yeah man. So I hate those kind of questions. Yeah. <laughs> but we do that. So, favorite rhythm all time. Boom but Broke out. <laughs> Broke out, yeah. Best DJ of all time. Bounty. Mm. Best Swedish. Sorry, Bounty Killer. Yeah. Bounty Killer, no, yeah. yeah. Best Swedish act. Wow. By this time. This time? That's some hard questions you got yeah, there. Of <laughs> Best Swedish act. Oh, right now? Yeah. Underground are famous. In no matter. Well, right now, I gotta say, you know, John Knight. John Knight. Uh, yeah. Alright, uh, yeah. And favorite drink? Favorite drink? Water. Water. Yeah. Clean. Clean. Spring. <laughs> Is it clean? No, no additives. No, no chlor, floor, bore, all that. No, none of that. Yeah. Alright. Favorite munchie? Favorite munchie? Wow. Food, you know? Good food, proper food. What kind of food? You have to say something. Well, some uh, just good food. I mean, some okay. What I'm thinking about right now because I'm kind of hungry, you know, some some marinated proper chicken, you know, yeah. some brown stew chicken, something I don't know, you know, rice and peas, yeah. always good. You know? so what I, I got some at home. That's what I'm thinking about. My ladies. <laughs> Hey, Miss Fatty Fatty, you a murder. Millie love it the way you twist and a turn up. Utter the love of my girl, you a burn up. A nice like girl, you be never ever heard of. Hey, Miss Fatty Fatty, you a murder. Millie love it the way you twist and a turn up. Utter the love of my girl, you a burn up. You a burn up. And some niggas so then they kitty them pretty, so they dog them a bark. Love it the way you.